Okay, this video concerns uh, a reverse delete algorithm, which is an algorithm that you can use to find the minimum spanning tree of a given network. Now, you can approach the reverse delete algorithm kind of like an inverse cross skulls in a sense. Uh, it can be mapped by this mapping diagram or algorithm diagram. I'll not show the specific name of it. But essentially, you start in the algorithm, you eliminate the arc of next highest weight. Uh, then you go to here, is the graph still connected? If it is, you just loop back again and eliminate uh, the next, or the weight of, or sorry, the arc of next highest weight, excuse me. Now, if the graph isn't connected or is a disconnected graph, we check if an MST has been formed. If an MST hasn't been formed, we loop back here and don't delete the arc. Uh, once we get to this stage, the arc that we should have selected uh, we call this a critical arc. Because if we remove it, the, the whole thing is disconnected and it will ruin the algorithm. If an MSG has been formed and no more uh, deletions can be made, uh, we stop the algorithm and we form the middle spanning tree. This can be slightly tedious because you have to set up the graph and start deleting uh, edges. So it is sort of best if you have. Um, sort of a lot of time. It is a neat algorithm, though slightly useless, unless you're on a, a whiteboard where you can eliminate lines immediately. So we have this sample network here. Uh, so we start off with the arcs of the highest weights. If there's a choice, it, it doesn't matter, uh, just so long as you don't create a disconnect. So I'm just going to start with um, GH first. As you can see, the graph is still connected. Uh, Let's find the next one. So there's an 11 here, so DE. Now we look for the tens. We have DF and AB. So let's remove AB first. Oh, to remove AB. But a lot of these are layered because I did them all in sort of one pen stroke. So now we have DF. Oh. So DF is gone. Now we look for the nines. If we try, oh, not ruler, Jesus. If we try to look at HI and we delete it, we see that H is all alone. So we don't want to disconnect H from our minimum spanning tree. So this will be a critical arc. So just label it as critical arc. And we don't touch it for the rest of the algorithm. No, stop clicking ruler. So AE is our next choice. Still doesn't create a disconnect. Let's see, uh, if we do CD, obviously D's uh, would be a disconnect. So I'll actually just label them as CA for now. Any more nines? Nope, let's go to the eights. Uh, BC, critical arc, because it would leave CD disconnected. BE, again, critical arc, it would leave BCD all disconnected. That's critical arc. Uh, what do we next? So the sevens, uh, the eight here actually, uh, would be fine to get rid of because that still connects everything. The seven here, critical arc. The seven also here, critical arc. Two critical arc, and the four here is a critical arc. So we found all of our critical arcs, and now we can just sum them up. So what do we got? We got seven. Two, eight, eight, nine, four, seven, nine. So seven, two, eight, eight, nine, four, seven, nine. Where are we? Okay, seven, two, eight, eight, nine, four, seven, nine. Okay, I was reading that as an extra, an extra one. So once we get them up, we get seven, two is nine, seventeen. 25, 34, 38, and 16 is 54. Just got to double check this now, just see if my mental maths is actually good. So 7 plus 2 plus 8 plus 8 plus 9 plus 4 plus 7 plus 9 is indeed 54. So 54 is our net weight of this minimum spanning tree.